Okay, so in this activity, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our e-stop e circuit. Now, if we look at our schematic here, and I decided to start with schematic this time around because this is a little bit more difficult. What I've got inside the square box is our, our e-stop circuit. Now, pretty much the e-stop circuit is just a master control relay circuit. We've done those in motor control, so this should be very easy, okay? Now, one thing I do want to point out is this this relay right here this relay is actually controlling contacts in all of the different circuits so you can see it again right here you can see it again right here and you can see it again right here so what the relay is doing is if the if the relay is not energized it's not making a connection through this these electrical circuits okay so it's pretty much killing the electrical circuit if the e stop gets pressed the uh, relay will become de-energized and will open all those circuits so that they do not operate. It's really like it's it's really important for our DC 24 volts. It's going to just completely kill it. It's there's going to be no power there, so you can no longer be sending outputs and stuff like that. So that's how that system works. Um, I'm not going to go into great depth t talking about how a master control relay system works because or circuit works because you guys already know that, but. Um, I kind of talked about it in some of the notes in this section is that not every e-stop will actually be set up this way. This is actually a really complicated e-stop circuit because most, e most PLCs actually have specific terminals to actually hook up an e-stop. But be, um, OSHA requires that you guys have a hardwired e-stop so that way it's it's actually all physically you know wires and actually switches and stuff like that. So they don't they don't trust the AI yet. They don't they don't like the fact that it would be in the program. Okay. So that you know later on we're going to actually show you how to wire in buttons to actually hook into the circuit or into the the PLC program. But you can't do that with these stops. Okay. So that's why this one's so complicated and why it's wired like a motor control. This will be the only thing that will be wired like a motor control. I promise. Um, one thing that is very important, like I said, this is a very complicated circuit for an e-stop. One thing that we could do is we could just take and have our e-stop button right here that goes directly to a coil on a relay, just like that. And they could, we could actually eliminate all of the stuff in between. It's not really necessary, okay? Uh, we will be doing it as per the schematic, except we will not be putting an over-travel limit switch right here in ours. We're just going to have a, a start, a stop, and an e-stop, and then we're going to have a 24-volt relay. Another thing that is important that I want to point out is that this is a 120-volt system. You can see that it's coming off of this leg right here and this leg right here, so it should be like 120 volts. So this coil probably has is a 120-volt coil. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to actually put a transformer in between here. The reason for that is because... I already have a bunch of 24 volt relays and I'm not going to buy 120 volt just to do this because it will get lost and it will get mixed up so it's just going to cause problems all right so I will I will link this schematic below but I'm also going to try to put together one that is more um, actually in in line with what we're going to actually do and actually have a transformer in there and have a uh, um, have, have no over travel switch okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take we're going to go over the board right now I'm going to have mine already hooked up and I'm going to show you how it should operate and we'll talk a little bit more about how it's going to fit into our DC circuit and then we're going to go ahead and you're going to build it we're going to move on. So let's go check that out. So here's the circuit I'll put together. Now none of this should be anything new to you guys. I've got my transformer that's taking it from 120 down to 24 volts. I'm running it through a breaker, 2 amp breaker, going up to our junction blocks right here, our terminal blocks up here. Um, up from here, I'm going into a typical motor control that controls a master relay as opposed to a contactor. When I push the green button in, you can notice I light up my relay here. If I press my stop button, it would turn off. Press my start button, hit the E stop, it would turn off, okay? It's nothing, nothing new, nothing special. Now, one very important thing is this is not connected to the PLC in any way. What we are going to do is we're going to come down to our AC to DC converter down here, and we're going to hook all this up, and the outcoming power is going to be forced to run through another contact in this relay. 
Um, and what then I'll show you that in the next video, but that's really all it's doing. It's a totally separate circuit that handles that. And all it does is it kills the power to these, uh, to our inputs and our outputs. Okay. So go ahead and wire that up. Uh, take a picture or submit it. Actually, you're gonna probably need to do a video for this one. I wanna see that, that little green light running. Make sure you did this all right. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully in the future, what we're gonna try to do is have all of this set up. So really you just have to hook up a couple wires as opposed to wiring up the whole thing. But more than likely, somebody will rip it all apart knowing how things are here. Please do not whine and complain, just put it together. It took me literally 10 minutes to put this circuit together. It was not that difficult. So good luck, go ahead and give it a shot.